Yes, bless up massive. It's DJ Bubbles here on Island Beats Radio. And I have a special guest joining me today, live and direct, all the way from Jamaica. Uh, massive welcome solution, Read the Rebel. How are you doing? <laughs> bless up, DJ Bubbles. I don't know solution from Kingston, Jamaica. But they are representing in the Island Beats all the way. Mm-hmm. Most definitely. I like that representation. So, Solution, uh, there's so many questions I have to ask you uh, during our interview here. I'll just start from the top. Um, how did Solution Read come about? Tell me where you're starting from and give me a little bit of uh, basic history on your music career. Uh, first thing, Solution Read is a Kingstonian, but grew up in the countryside, which is Manchester, Mandeville. Mm -hmm. Music always been there from a tender age, but we never really decided that we're going to make it be our profession, you understand? Mm -hmm. Until a certain age, you know? So when we leave high school now, and we know we have the talent, we never really go there and showcase it like that. Mm -hmm. A few of our friends always encourage us, say, yo, solution, yeah, man, you have some nice vibes. So we start trying it, and we realize that we get some good response. So we just decided that, all right, we're going to make it into a career because we realize that it's not just about having a talent. Mm. When we do things, it's like people really relate really to it to an extent where we say, yo, it's more than just having a talent. You know what I mean? It's a gift. Of and course. It's a lot of people in many different ways. Because the things that we choose to talk about and sing about more times, some people like even want to see these all of vibes fans. Even before we do a professional record, we we'll just go to the studio and learn the whole craft and we we'll just record these things. and. Friends and family always want to have a copy and they really cherish it. So we just decided, you know, this can really become something more greater than how we did have it, you know what I mean? Of course. Solution really is a youth grow up in the countryside. Music always been there. But then we turn it, we decide that, yo, this is what we really got to Yes. So, that's how the whole thing, even the word solution, or the name, or the name really come about. It based upon of the type of music that we choose to do. You know what I mean? Yes, so we can't give ourselves a certain name, we want something to represent our material, our work. Yes. So that's why you come, up, come along with the word solution, because our, our music and message is more like that. Encouragement, upliftment, you know what I mean? Of course. So, yeah. So that was a really great response. So you started off, I guess, music was in your family and what have you, and it sounds as if you always dabbled in music. Um, when did you officially establish yourself in the industry as an artist? All right. Oh, that's uh, my my first professional recording. I would say uh, about three three years. Wow. I really have a track that I can say, yo, this track really done on a professional level. Mm -hmm. Where I can really say, yo, the world can get a chance to get a copy of this because it's not a mediocre, it's more like people with more professional ears and knowledge towards music yes. really put their hands on this particular track. And from there, it's like, there so was the first thing, you know what I mean? We used to do things before, it's more like a, just a learning process. So, three years ago, more than likely, with PDA music, we can say, right, we have a first professional record in there. Of course. And in terms of more established producers who, we can say, yo, we, we know of the knowledge of knowing that one particular record for this producer, Winnie Wonder, Akin, you know, various names, Vibe Cartel, Movado. We know I've done work with this producer, so we finally get a chance and we record a song with him. So that is my first professional recording. Wow. So you did some work with Bounty. That's amazing still. So, solution. It's not really with Bounty. It's not really with Bounty, but there's the producer who. I rub shoulder with Bunty and do work with him. So ah. when he decided that he going to record a track for me, it was a great achievement to me at the moment. You know because this is the ideal to record to certain producers who have a name and work with established artists already in the business. You know what I mean? So it was just being on a track that this producer dealing with. So it was a great achievement to me at that moment. Is it? Of course, I fully understand. That's pretty good still, you know? So when you say producer, are you referring to uh, Goldmine Productions or...? No, we're talking about PD Music, you know what I mean? Like PD Music is a different label from Goldmine Productions. Okay. You know? So, okay. PD Music is the first person who's more likely, so we have a more, the first professional track. 
yes. done with. You know what I mean? So that's payday music. You know what I mean? And which song was that, uh, Solution? I've heard a couple of your tracks. You already know I'm a big fan of Share Your Secrets. Which <laughs> song? <laughs> All right. That particular track that I done in PD as the first track was a track with me and a guy named Nimran. Yes. And it was a collab in Swear. Yes. So that was a collab between me and Nimran. So that was the first track that PD produced the Solution, you know? Okay. And there we just do a few more tracks like Let It Be, uh huh. Good side. Uh huh. Mama as well. See they produce the mama track as well. Okay. There's a few more from that. I think about four more tracks that he produced as well. Compilation and stuff that I'm on with with other various artists. You know so. Yeah. Uh Wow, that's amazing. So we're tracking you from the genesis of your career now. Um, I'm just wondering how you, what was the first song that hit the airwaves for you and when? All right, I can't recall the exact year, but the first shot for me wasn't a professional recording song. Mm -hmm. And I really stay home and listen myself playing to a radio speaker and know that it's the radio turn on and that is my voice. <laughs> it wasn't a professional track. To be honest. It was like a promo track. We just done like a demo. You know yes. what I mean? Just, as, as I said, we always try to keep ourselves in the environment where we know that like a two days and stuff. We always doing with little stuff. But so luckily a friend of mine by the name of Denton Speechy. Yeah. He used to work at this radio station which is Root FM. Mm, Roots FM. That's in Portmore, yeah. no? No, that's in Three Mile. Okay. In over to Portmore, so that's in within Kingston 11. Mm hmm And he's a person who know my, my mom and stuff, and basically we just come back to Kingston, because as we said, we did the demand of the countryside. So we come back into Kingston and we had the little thing, and then hear this truck and I'm impressed, and him say, yo, give me that truck, then I'll play it for my for station, look more, because... <laughs> and I want to tell you the funniest joke. When I listen to that track, three quarters of Jamaica are asleep because I'm nice. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, it was a great joy still to know that, yo, he plays at a night, you have a night nice slot. Mm -hmm. He really take that track and he really play it and sit up the whole night and uh -huh. hear me sing and play because he say, yo, man, play it tonight. And so make sure you have it. <clears throat> Some of the to see the whole advice, nah, please. Finally, in the year, in, 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 Big me up and jack the truck. I mean, what? Yeah, man. <laughs> so, you know, so that was the first idea of hearing myself playing and the airwaves. It wasn't a professional track that out there. Wow. And that was that was a big motivation and a drive again because knowing that, yo, I finally hear myself through the radio speak, you know, and know, so yeah. But these things, they'll push the drive to go along, you know what I mean? Of course. Well, for me, I found you randomly because, um, this jock in the UK did a mix and I heard when I heard share your secrets I'm like who's singing that song you know the same way how the man them from Roots FM gravitated I also gravitated but from what I'm seeing around like your name is circulating out there you know so yeah, pretty we've much been doing, we've been doing the work you know? we've been putting the work you know what I mean mm -hmm. we've been doing we're talking about being in a lot of stuff, you know what I mean? Because, you know, it's, just, it's so funny that, I want to tell you, this particular track that you discussed, it's Cherry Season. Yes. It's from my first EP because what happened now, all this time I've been doing it, and I just decided that, you know, I hear the guys them talk about EP. I say, yo, I kind of do some background research on the whole idea of an EP. Yes. And then, for some reason, it, no gold mine for a period of time, know that he's in the music, and... I just got there one day by his food and I say, yo, you know more I do an EP? I say, you serious? And I say, yeah, man, I do an EP. And he just give me like 15 tracks, 15 rhythms. Wow. And I say, yeah, man, just give me a... And I say, just don't give me the limit for the rhythm. Just give me a, a set of rhythms that me can choose from because the rhythm them really speak to me. And you want to say, I get 15 rhythms. Wow. From all my... And in just a week, I have the six songs ready for the EP because I said that six tracks are supposed mm. to go on the EP. Of course. And I was like, all right. By the week, my record is six times. Within a week, six times ready record. I mean, I said, I said, yo, we're going to work fast enough because a lot of other artists come by and we get every man months in my battle with it. I mean, I said, yo, it's just that we have vibes, you know? Of course. Energy and vibes. I mean, I said, yo, there are some things I just want to sing and say, you know? 
talk of something, so yeah, just give me some rhythm and them something that come out of me. And she just work where we we'll compile the EP, she received it was the when we done done everything I listen about the track and we have to yo, this song is a great song. So mm-hmm. we start the EP with it. So we put it as the first track on the EP, you know what I mean? Yes. So we have a track as well, the name Never Have Regret. That is on the EP, so we just say, alright, we're going to cycle the EP. No regret as well. So hmm. we cycle the EP uh, off based upon of one of the tracks name and stuff and share a secret now. When we just answer we're gonna get a test run now. With the EP when we say alright, the EP put together, we have the six songs, we have to do the mix and we start shop around with a few people and say, yo, <coughs> listen to them track and give your opinion, what you think, what kind of vibes, you know what I mean? Yes. I wanted to see if it was the track where a lot of people are gravitating up. Yes. And I said, yo, this song or this song, man, start the EP with it, put it as a track one, you know? And we put it as the leading track on the EP. And <coughs> yeah, from there, so we just have promoted it and do a thing and we get good feedback from that the track, man. Tell you. I'm That's telling you. That's people like that track. That's, it's, um bombshell for real because honestly when I first heard it I was like whoa who's this new chip on the block but um, it looks like you're really ahead of me I'm just glad I was able to catch the gist of it and get in on the solution read mania so now you done already know I'm based in Canada and um, I think we've discussed that you've been to Canada before. How did that come about? And also, how did you find the vibe in Canada? All right. <clears throat> Personally, the vibe in Canada is not great. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> in the energy being. Coming to Canada, the first time doing a show, Solution never have a track that blazing up in Canada that people could say, okay, yeah, Solution sing this song or this track. No, it was more like a, everybody was like, yo, who is this kid? Who is this dude? Who is, who is this person? You know what I mean? Everybody was just like, question it. Because, yo, I haven't heard this song at first. I heard this name before. I don't know of this artist. You know what I mean? So there was a lot of speculation around the whole idea of me coming to Canada and that particular show. But so surprisingly, when I come there and think, I go and get a joke. When I come there, it's like the promoter didn't organize for me to work with the band. Ah. Uh. You know what I mean? More like Warrior King, I don't have the bands, we would perform on our truck. You know what I mean? Of course. Or reading, or, or reading CDs. And I was like, yo. I just called the promoter one side and said, so listen to me. Mm-hmm. Me coming to Canada for the first, Canada for the first time to perform for these people. Yeah. They're not singing on any CD, you know. And the bands may I work with, you know. <laughs> because they never organized that for me. So luckily, you know, it kind of really they shoot me in a corner where we like, it's like, I never told, please look at me and say, yo, my ideal is I don't really want to go out here and all these and work with the trucks and this is a festival, it's not like it's a club show where you can't say anything goes because it's like an indoor club show, it's a festival and bands is a part of it. Are you giving me trucks? Come on, man. Yeah, yeah that's not... I'm with him still. <coughs> I read to with him and I say, yo, I'm going to sue him, Keanu, but so luckily, there's a particular individual who was uh, the band's manager, his <laughs> name is Ricky, he yes. was a bass player. Okay. He was like, yo, John Hart, if you're really sorry, the promoter didn't tell us about you guys to be a part of the band set and he said that you guys would work with Chuck and it's like him see the whole vibes and him go home and so surprisingly, let us hear him call me the next day when we at the hotel. I said, Yo, you know I line up a little thing. I mean I said, What are you talking about? <laughs> Nothing no right up my mind out in the basement, man. The guys them are gonna come over in the next two hours. So we're going to make them pick you up and bring you to my house and we're going to rehearse the track them in the basement because we're going last night and we start researching some of your stuff and we're going to some of your track them and I said, no man, we can't have this artist here sing for a CD. CD. Yeah. You know what I mean? Of and course. So surprisingly, everything just works out. One day rehearsal with the band. Like, tomorrow is the show of rehearsal like in the evening. One, one got through. <laughs> and it was like, yo, brother, it's a different vibe with you. Yo, we sorry never have you track them for a longer time, because, yo, we like the energy we get from you. For and real. Yeah, man, that has a bit of the thing, then. So luckily, we get, we get to work with the bands, which was a good thing for me, you know what I mean? Because in the end of the day, that me they really want, you know what I mean? And the angle is so well where if we did really stop and say to the crowd, say, people, 
you would you believe it's just one rehearsal with the one bus. rehearsal and like we just went through the tracks them one time not like two and three times they wouldn't believe they would feel like we've been rehearsing for a while you know what i mean but that's the energy of my music the whole entire band just fall in love with it and just say yo no man we we'll ask about the youth yeah we have a back to win up here whether we get money or not we have a back to artist and we want back to you and you know, it was a great job being here you know what i mean so what for now the world the expectation of the fans them with high and they real? made it and they really see what we can do after a lot of people come back here being like yo artists love the vibes they have a great energy yo Gosh. i never expect the vibes there you know what i mean because i never heard it before i never heard the tracks man you know i was you know what I mean? A lot of people come and tell you honestly what they think for and what I got through their mind and stuff. You know what I mean? And I really clear the whole concept from their mind where they have to come and give me a, a shake and, and you know, take a picture and I say, yo, dude, it's a good energy. <laughs> you know, it's a nice place. You know what I mean? People really into music, really know good music, really love good music and good artists stuff. So. Because you can uh you got the promoter yesterday the first experience outside of work. You know so, what I mean? And um, I'm I'm just wondering where in Canada were you? Toronto or Ottawa? Yeah, the show keeps in Ottawa, you know. And we, yes, we, 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 we still a few days in Toronto side, you know what I mean? Yeah. Other stuff, you know? Promotional purposes. For, For real. Myself, but the show really keeps in Ottawa. Wow, it's a so I'm sorry I missed that. So, how long ago was that now? When were you in Canada? You know, so I just had a day and a long time, about a month ago. Because a I was in the brain, I run because you know, I just had a day. Mm. Well, two months ago, we we'll, we'll come to come do a lot of things, put in some work, you know? For so real? You know, the <clears throat> Big, and I want to say to you, you know, each time I leave Jamaica and go somewhere different, it's like the welcome to in into my songs. It's just unbelievable because I've been in Diana as well. Diana? Shortly. Okay. I've been in Diana shortly. You know what I mean? I come back from Ghana, it's been like a, a week or two years and then to Canada and it's like, in Guyana, it's like nobody knows solution as well. Nobody knows solution music. <laughs> and when they really get that time out to really, you know, and see me perform live and see the things I can do, it was like a surprise, you know what I mean? But I guess that's what good music do, you know? Exactly. When they, <laughs> when they <laughs> from the art, is exactly, because there's a natural way about you. So I know you said you did some collab with Nimron. Have you ever yeah. done some work with any other artists? Yeah, but not no great big time established artists out here. I've done a track with Nimran, I've done a track with a guy from Ghana named by the name of Rashid Metal as well. Okay. You know I mean? Okay. That's, that's done recently by Goldmine Production as well. You know what I mean? Wow. Um, okay. Sounds like you're, but you're doing things like your activity for such a short <laughs> span time that you've been plummeted into you know, the music industry i we're mean putting work, man. We have yeah to work for work i could see the color of them is not my ideal attention but from the opportunity present itself to do it and the vibes it all depends on the vibes you know what i mean so we have a few colors out there but i think one of the greatest things with me personally need well, well anytime i have the opportunity to do that it's gonna be a great thing because it's like i always have a career to get this I've never done a collab with a female artist before. Ah. You know what I mean? Let me decide say the first time I ever did that more should be something where you know what I mean? Really It happened just after fast then, right away. Blam. Yes. Just, you know what I mean? Yeah, I refuse it. Exactly. It happened just be the ID, you know? For real, I could definitely um appreciate that for real well you know there's a lot of them out there i'm not sure um when you say a female artist if you're stemming more to the lovers rock or dance uh, hall music is music you know, because if you really little solution better love we have one job we have semi dancer we have dancer but the thing with solution maintain is a positive vibe you know what i mean and i'll get solution talk about certain things so, yes because this is me, how my music really works. The rhythm really. The rhythm, when I hear the rhythm, the rhythm of it does. In life, the rhythm just of it does. 
reach my soul, whether it's a dancer or a one jump. So yes. it doesn't really matter the rhythm, it don't matter the type of artist, the female artist, whether she's a dancer or artist, but whatever she and Solution will be doing, it will be something that they can play around your kids yes. properly. You know what I mean? It won't be something that, okay, all right, the kids them can't hear this. No, you know, you know what I mean? Yes. It will be something just more of a universal energy, you know? Definitely. And it can put it everywhere in the phone this week, you know what I mean? So, it's have a nice. Exactly. Well, I haven't really heard you on a deaf uh, dance hall rhythm, but I'm sure, just like you said, you do well, you know? No, how? Because the EP, so the EP we have a track on it named Touch Man. Hmm. It's more like it's a, it's a, all right, Touch Man, that's the title of the, the particular track. That's more like, all right, it's a slang here in Jamaica, it's like a slang, you know? Of don't course. Recall, or a bridging by then, real name. We just like, yo, touch man, oh, go on. You know what I mean? So it's like a Jamaican energy. It's a kind of vibe, it's a kind of reason, you know? So I do a song with that particular energy and it named Touch Man, which is the slang as well. And it's a dance hall, you know what I mean? And it's on the EP as well. And I have a dance, dance hall chat that KD produced as well. Ownership is, is a lady, is a song for the ladies. Yes. Nine and the dance hall beat name ownership. So you can check that out as well when I get the time. So we do know if we do the dance hall, even though we do reggae. Yes. We love the reggae and we love the thing because a music we love. Exactly. So we, we tell them that so we maintain one standard. We not talk about certain things because they don't know. You now we get to sing about certain things on track. You know what I mean? Definitely. So it's a time for everything. You know what I mean? So our thing, I go always, no matter the rhythm. It's about always have a clean vibration and an energy, you know what I mean? Definitely. So you can hold a party to it, you can dance to it, and you can just hold a whole of meditation for it. So we keep it away at all time, you know? Of you course. A variety, you know, I will, I should say diversity is always good, you know? For real. Yeah, because people would surprise, you know? Solution, a DJ before my thing, you know? But the thing about it, I don't really DJ. No, in, in my work, you know what I mean? Yes. So it's not surprisingly for your solution. So you know, I'm going to do a song and I'm a DJ of her because it's, it's there. It's just that we sing more soulful songs and the rhythm them that we get, the energy with, where we hear, you know what I mean? Because in the end of the day, that's how we really work. <laughs> we don't just sit down and, 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 and put a song together without a rhythm. It can, you know, we can do it, you know, but in the end of the day, we mostly work off of the energy from the rhythm. If the rhythm must say, yo, go here to do this, do that. And the vibe just say, yo, I feel like a party tonight. I'm going to sing a party song. And, you know, I saw my energy to the ladies, they are so where they can. You know, all of us. So the rhythm have a lot to do with it, as I say. The rhythm speaks to them. So most of the world come out already. It's just where the rhythm then come in. And just say. So we just bring it to life. You know what I mean? Of course. I could definitely understand. Now tell me, um, Solution, you're based in Jamaica, right? Um, how was the airplay for you out there? Are you getting lots of airplay right. out there? Here in Jamaica, when I get a strong all right, I would say since recently about two months, I can put a ticket and say of the past two months Solution been getting some nice irrigation here in Jamaica. And then I mean at IRFM radio station. I don't know what I would be at the station, the foundation from the years. And when you have IRFM recognize your work and a play, you know what I'm saying? It's a ticket, it's a plus. You know what I mean? So the reality of it is, I want, I want to tell you the funniest thing. The major track IRFM been spinning the solution like day to day, is share a secret. That track, the sweet, the mob, them see. You know what I mean? So we want to even, even do what they are for IRC. We have to big up to even big A them from Irish them in Jamaica, Kingston, Jamaica, you know? Because he's one of the first DG and Irish them that come in contact with that truck. And just like, he can't remove it from him, him, him except each time he play, he must play that track. Yes. You know I mean? So we are give him a shout out and big him up to him because it's have to take somebody to make somebody know what we can do and hear what we have, you know? Of in course. He's one of the men who do that, so no respect to big here said <laughs> I understand. So would you like to see more um, airplay exposure or where... Yeah, it's uh, ideal, you know. Of course. These are the things that really can make the artist 
people on a whole can really know the artist and know what the artist can do. So we're grateful for the for the much we get at the moment. But yet still if there's opportunity to make it more, would I really appreciate it because in the end of the day, this is what makes you an artist. And yes. your work can be heard by the fans. The ear the the radar fair plate, the sound man fair plate, the mixed tape man the mafia run with it. So if there was a switch, well we could have just gone this and, and switch it on. And tomorrow morning we have like every radio station, don't matter how small and how big in Jamaica playing it, yeah. Would have done it long time. I would need it because in the end of the day. Wow. You know what I mean it's all the way for the fans them can hear what we can do and give we that recognition. So it's not like this. We are the ideal bus artist in Jamaica. Yes, you can know of it. If you are here after but yet still the entire Jamaica can recognize. Can come to the to the foothold and say, Yeah man, solution, we hear about solution. No places we go even in a Jamaica more why. And wow. I don't know the state people come and say, Virgin, we never know say a lunar artist. But you know, we don't know about, you know, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? So it's like people is here in Jamaica, we don't even know about you as it said we. Yeah. You know what I mean? So the ear play would help the governor. Of course. So the fans then can really know, say, yo, there's an artist out there by the name of Solution, and these are some of his tracks. You know what I mean? Because you don't know the, the radio cover, cover miles, you know what I mean? Well, I have been in the music industry for a while now from. 2007 it's now 2016 and I my fir the first words out of this out of my mouth I'm like this artist is gonna bust and I have no doubt that it it's just gonna take that one sound to hear you and it will set it off trust me so because that's how it always works mm -hmm. just take a one sound open the door and then all right even now at the stage I'm at now there's a lot of people who when they come in contact with, with, with the name and they yes. done the research, it was like, yo, this artist been here doing some work, you know what I mean? And, it, and it's the first thing I come up. So, we know where I talk about. He just take that one song that opened the door and it, when he even take the one song, a lot of people would be like, yo, but this dude been singing some great songs, man. Exactly. You know what I mean? But nothing be time, you know what I mean? Time of the mass and time of the key, you know? So, what we do, we just go and live and sing some good music and just go and live on, you know what I mean? Exactly. You know what I mean? You can't raise time or you can't beat time, you know? When exactly. the time to do it, nobody can stop that, you know? Well, jaw time is the best time, you know? He you knows know? just when to just deliver, so definitely you're on the right track. So let me ask you, um, Solution, as um, an artist, you know, every not even an artist, everybody in general always has that one goal set out for them. And I'm wondering if you could tell me what your major goal is. Like, where do you want to be to say, yo, I reached my destiny. What is it that you uh, want to achieve most? All right, this is it. Music, we don't set a level to music because this is it. There's no level to music. Of course. You know I mean? Some people say sky is the limit, but music don't have a limit. But in the end of the day, our ideal aim is to make the people out there who would like or who embrace my type of music and my type of message. So that like it can reach out there to these type of people. So because we have people who were like before they go to work, yes. a solution them a listen. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they way to work a solution, even when they come home from work from a hard day they will advise the solution. So the opportunity where we would have liked is the fact that our music can really go to that level so the people who really embrace our type of music can get a chance to hear it and know of and can listen to the music that when the moment comes, whether they go through a, dep a depressed moment, a happy moment, a happy moment to them just want to enjoy. So we just want that to the people. But me, musically, we don't have no level, man, because in the end of the day, there's no level to music, you know? Of oh, course. Just do the thing and just know, so they, the thing go out there, the people can hear it. I embrace it because with the music for the people is not ourselves. You know what I mean? So in the end of the day, we want who would be for can receive it and get it. A household name, basically, then. Because let me tell you, I live in a house with um, about four teenagers. And ever since I started researching, and especially the song Rebel, um, that the young people like that tune for some reason. I 
here now these teenagers around me are singing along to um rebel so definitely it's get it's getting there you know what i mean solution i mean it's getting there that track produced by a Canadian bass producer in it, for the Max Music, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That producer produced in Canada, and, and I want to tell him, 90% of the, the sound in Canada have this song in dub play. Because it's a song where, it not that, oh, kill you and kill me and kill she. Mm -hmm. But yet still, most people just find this song, you know, something about it. And you find more sound in Canada have this in dub play. Hmm. Rebel. It's a trap where anybody come in contact with ever love. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter the age difference. Young old. You know what I mean? It's a great song. Yeah, I'll definitely concur with you there. For real. So, I mean, what are some of the places you'd love to see yourself performing? Like Europe, Africa? Uh, honestly, honestly, anywhere embrace music. Because we're not going to reggae music alone. Anywhere embrace music. music. We do here. Solution is a light. In present cells, they say. And perform for these people. You know what I mean? Because in the end of the day, it's about the music. So you don't know. We already know that Africa, Europe, is certain place to embrace reggae and embrace our music away. Yeah. Of course. We have many other places where said we embrace music. Yeah, yeah we'd like to see ourselves better and showcase and make the people up here. Because I want to let you want to tell one of the funny. There's a lot of people who listen to track for you. <laughs> and they will enjoy a performance ten times better than when they listen to the track. And it's the same song you see. So if you know it's a total different vibration. <laughs> you know what I mean? You listen to the track naturally and yeah, it gives you our energy, but standing and watching the artist performing that particular track is a total different scenario. If that artist is an artist who is for them story, yeah, tell it. For real, I could hear. I understand. I have the opportunity to just go there, showcase this music to the people, you know what I mean? And do music. Definitely. And the critics and Connor will love our music. I, I hear that. Now, you sound like a pretty young youth still. I'm not going to ask you your age on the airways, but you sound like a pretty young youth in the industry. Um, I'm not. <laughs> It's the age, even if age not coming as to embrace it because it's a part of life, you know what I mean? And when yes. you tell yourself that you're old, you know, you're old. But naturally, the solution is a young man you don't know. Yes. A father as well. Yes. You don't know the thing. So For real. The solution is an old person. So we have, we do have a victory and the Almighty, you know what I mean? Sing the good music and reach the people in the story. Definitely. Well, my question was kind of gearing to this. I'm not sure if you've ever heard of something called a writer's block. When someone's writing a book, they get a block where they don't know what to write, basically. So I find that artists can also go through those um, kind of cases where, you know, they might feel like, gosh, I'm not getting anywhere or they want to be somewhere but it's just not happening to the pace uh that they would like it to happen if you have ever experienced those moments solution tell me yeah, because what, what all right what we are not going to define it when we experience it mm -hmm. in my own way yes it, for me it's more like a heartburn to see solution then three so for instance, the three other country outside of Jamaica, I see how these people embrace my music. Yes. How these people really welcome me as an artist. Yes. Right? And here, where is my home? Not Kingston alone, but Jamaica, where is my home? You know what I mean? It's like, remember, you know, we do the same music, you know, we do it from here, you know. And we don't really get that love for the music here. You know what I mean? So, we have that little the within we know where I said I know. But we really want to see our people appreciate what we are doing embrace it because we are the music and if we can see we leave our home and go out there and people embrace it. Why is it? It's not happening here. But at the end of the day, I would say the people in general like that we are talking for everybody. There is a particular thing that 
going on within music here where it makes artists like me and many more that's out there not getting that gateway for the people to hear them. You know what I mean? Because the music becomes a politics here. You know what I mean? So sometimes it's really not where we'd love to know, say, yo, we are singing one music at Jamaica, we are Jamaica, we want the people to hear what we can do. So this is one of the solutions I deal. I want the people to hear me and hear what I do because mm-hmm. night, not the day. As much as you have a lot of dance and fans here, you have people who embrace my music and still want to hear them conscious music. But you have some people now where set up barriers and block the door, then make these music get a, get a chance. You know what I mean? So, my ideal right now would I really love to see Jamaica embrace my music. Conscious music and all, you know what I mean? Because, no doubt about it, you can't go around it. Jamaica is more of a, Jamaica becomes more of a dance hall fans and a dance hall crowd where they might listen to the hash music more, which is they don't know is a craft and it's a part of music. But it's like it becomes a one sided thing. It's no longer a balanced energy. It's like, you know, the conscious artists, them now, now get a earplay, they now get a recognition. It's like people just are shunning them and put them in a little corner, like they must have shook. You know, but they want to hear that. And it's not for the people, but people who are at the door to put these things through to make the people hear what you can do. Some of these people formulate politics stuff. If there's one thing we could have asked for right now is to make people like hear my music in a Jamaica, which is my home, with me death. Because you see that we have to let Jamaica go out there and say other people can embrace the said music where you do in Jamaica and you're still Jamaica now. The people who have the politics to go and now set the things to make the, the fans them can hear your things just the same. Of course. It look good. It takes two weeks in Canada when you look, a lot of people start following you, a lot of people start know of you, a lot of people start embrace you, start tuning to your things. Well, you know, I'll tell you a little secret solution that um, we don't always become a king in our own backyard, you know. Sometimes, yeah. yeah. You know, it comes the king in your own town, in your hometown, you know. You have to go to go prove it. But I think, you know, in the reality, that should change now, you know what I mean? Because you know, at the end of the day, the dance I had before you dance abroad. Yes. You know, our here. Yeah. So, while we are dance I had, and then you dance I had in order for when you go abroad, you can do the thing right. Exactly. So, you dance I had, no, no, I didn't ask you. It's so, just... At the end of the day, they're not crown winner, but you know, at the end of the day, you go there, you get the respect, which is still appreciated. But yet, still, come on, man. Because it's not like the race, it's just a few people who put up these barriers. You know what I mean? It's not like there's a massive. No, right? it's definitely in a higher place. We want to just gather them people in one big barrel and roll them down. <laughs> and say, yeah, we don't love music. It's all about money. Go on down this thing. Definitely. Yeah, so everybody, because this, you know, it, it's a joy when you sing a new music, you know, and it's like, yo, if it's four or five people listening to my YouTube and if you have a few people for your Instagram or your Facebook are big you up and I say, yo, brother, this music is great and you realize, say, yo, everybody get to come in contact with you have something good to say. But yet they when they realize these people shook this song aside, they now give it a chance to make the fans disappear. You know what I mean? I then I decide what to play, what to, when to play it and what to play. They now put good music out there, so it's not about good music, it's about the politics. Of like course. A company thing, you know what I mean? So, that's the reality, man. But nevertheless, the world is big. You know what I mean? And a lot of people out there listen to music, reggae music and dance hall. And we're still grateful for the ones that were out on the far end, where at least they become the fans and they become an inspiration to we, you know, for push and fight. So, big so them up to. Exactly. You know what it is, too, is that, um, you know, there's a politics in everything we do, even sadly in the music as well. So I definitely understand, you know, but um, I uh, definitely understand what you're feeling for sure. And um, you're doing a great job, in my opinion. What I wanted to ask you a uh, solution as a young artist coming up in the industry, uh, what words of encouragement and motivation would you give other youths that are just stepping into the ring, you know? All right. 
my word for these people who have a passion, love for music. We have all decided that, yo, this is the road. The road where they're going to take on. You know what I mean? First, it is about the hype and the money and the fame. I look at 9 to 5, I go look at proper job. Because yes. this is it. You have so much things to come in contact with if you don't be careful, if you enter music with the wrong intention. You have to end up astray. Yes. You know what I mean? So, my advice to these people, if it's not something where it's like a soul attachment, don't even bother look down the road. Definitely. You have to end up on some platform when I got right. But in at the end of the day, if you decided that yo, that the music from your heart and it's really about the love for music. Because if it's about that, my advice to you say, when you enter this, work hard, believe in yourself. Yes. Mm-hmm. Don't set no levels to your thing because when they put levels to it and when they, to me when they set not wrong with having a human, but this is how a solution go about it. I don't I don't get up and tell my sister, yo, um, go and do an album and if it's done by specific time, no, I work with it, we just go along the floor. Because, yes. you know, when you set time and set certain things that you don't accomplish it by that, you will easily get off track, you will get so caught up in our emotion where you just give up, lose faith. So, we just go with the, with the mystic at the time, you know? If yes. we just wake up and the energy presents itself and we say, you know, Put the album there together, we just put it together. Uh, yo, do that track with a person, we just do it, you know, we just, we just set certain things and, and set up, it's like a set up yourself when it, when it, when it, when it, in a music. In you know, other things it's different, you know, but it's in music, because you, the ideal about it, you can have the artist and you decide to have a mash up a stage for tonight. And of when they go there, you don't get, don't get a far away. Of and when you realize, you know, it's like it broke your energy. But you have to always know, so, you know, we just have to perform for the people then, and do the work. Definitely. And no matter what we're wrong, they believe in myself that you are. I've got to look from the mistake and clarity. So, for the ones that we are coming to music, man, the first thing, man, just believe in yourself. Because that's one of the strongest things. Believe in yourself. Love what you do. Don't love it for the wrong things. Because when you love it for the wrong things, I just say I've got to get started. Because when you love music, all disappointments are coming in your way. You have to find means that we are okay. Jump these hurdles, mentally, physically. You know what I mean? So, just love what you have to believe in yourself, work hard though. because don't feel like you have to just do one little thing and sit down and where it no work so you have to come in and you have to put in work and you know, because you don't know the things so, so just love it, put in some hard work, do it from your heart and just believe in yourself man, and do music man. I like that, I really like that solution for real so well the year is practically over we have a week left any plans for next year's solution yeah sure we have some plans you know here we know as we say all the thing go we do a lot of work this year because we never we never set up ourselves and say we are going to do 10 songs 15 songs for that year we just put in work yes the solution i do know I have a new resolu- r- r- resolution team now for 2017. Solution just have a wake up and a lot of my tracks that we have, when we don't have a visual for. We just have anyone feel like, you know, that one I'm going to shoot a video for, I'm going to shoot it. Yes. So maybe our next year, 2017, you will see solution with that five, six, seven new videos. Yes. So we just have to do some video. We're not here. We just have to pick out some songs and say, yeah, man, them songs, shoot that video this time, this one. So we just had a promotion and shoot some videos and just enjoy with it. So you don't know, we love music with the music. And that's it, you know what I mean? So yes. next year it's more of visual. Because you don't know the music go under them. The vocal and the visual, you know what I mean? So we just have shoot some videos next year. So don't surprise when you look. You see a video for years and some share your secret. Oh, don't yes. surprise when you look into one for the corner. As I tell about the track when you touch man. Where that starts to the ends and the the, the, the the community where everybody socialize that way and hear them breathing more while I say, such man one one so we just do music with a fun and a joyful thing, you know? we not set up with them, you know? Of course. I like that plan, you know, I mean just taking it a day at a time. Now when you say E P you're referencing an electronic press kit, am I correct? Or is it an album you're referencing? All right. So why not? EP is a basically like a debut album. It's like as alright, it's more like a six track. Oh, okay. 
you know, is a six track, but the, the, the main aim with an EP you now is like, for instance, uh, a promoter would like, yo, I heard this artist and yeah, I like the vibes and I'm going to book it. You know what I mean? The, the EP set that platform where him say, okay, you have six songs that's out there where if he's going to book it for a show and bring, it, bring you as the artist in his hometown, he have a basically a set of track and really promote it. You know? So in that yo, you have a small yeah, you have a little compilation where is a young artist or more lively, I'm gonna give you a half an hour for your show or fifteen minutes. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you have a little catalog. So of you course. more like that, you know what I mean? It's a small catalog as an upcoming artist, so you can go do a little show where you guarantee so you have a six songs that out there. Where really the people can say, Yeah man, you must six track out there. So it's in fact promote the people can go and find these tracks and know. So yeah. In the, in these songs and things. So, you got to look at press kit as just to see, you know what I mean? To just open doors and get some people more confident to say, yo, we have a book him for the show, yeah, we have a use him for this because we at least can get a half an hour performance all time because we have an EP, which is a kick track. You know what I mean? They know that thing they got. Of so, course. It's more like that for real, man. Of course. Well, that's also a good mentality still. Now, where could the massive find your music? That EP you're talking about? Um, you was know, all right. iTunes. When you go iTunes, you will find the EP. The EP title has no regret. Okay. You know, produced by Goldmine Productions. So that EP is out there on the iTunes. You can go on the iTunes online and find it. You know. Of course. Several other single tracks that we have out there. Today, so. Come on, you can be find the solution overall now, you don't know. You can find solution on Facebook, you know what I mean? Of solution course. Read. Okay. You, know I mean? you can find solution YouTube, solution read today. Instagram, solution read music. Okay. You know what I mean? How do you spell the music part? M-U-Z-I-Q or M-U-S-I-C? How would you spell it on Insta? M-U-S-I-C. Oh, okay, yeah, just plain solution uh, read what, music. You don't know the WhatsApp is there that people can contact, contact us on the WhatsApp. You know what I mean? That's the number where we show you the WhatsApp is concerned, which is that number is 1876 443 5690. So that's the WhatsApp number. Otherwise, they can hit up Goldmine Production if they want to contact the solution as well. You know what I mean? Yes. At Facebook and Instagram and these things, you know, Goldman Production. When you search for him, you can reach out to him and you'll get a, a whole of solution as well. Yes, for real. I like that. So, solution, I don't know how to thank you for sharing your story, your journey, and your future en endeavors as an artist. I don't know how to thank you for gracing us here on Island Beach Radio. Is there anyone you want to? Shout out or give up props to before we go solution. Yeah, man, it don't know. No. I said big up the Almighty you know, because I didn't make everything possible, you know what I mean? Yet still, big up Island Beat for the station. A solution is for that. Give thanks to this interview, you know what I mean? Big up the listeners, them who tune in, said we. You know what I mean? Oh, thank so, you, solution. Up everybody, Bubbles, big up yourself as well, you know what I mean? Because you don't know. Don't you know. Time out and you find solution. <laughs> <laughs> we respect that because it does it does give you energy to show it for the music I work, you know, we are said the right things, we are do the right things. Because people like wanna know help inspire the things to look at you know, the end of the day. That's what it is. You know what I mean? When somebody good come across and love the music it's like it's a motivation. Of you know what I mean? No matter what you have to face day to day musically here, is that these things give you more drive and more push up. Big yourself, DJ above is I don't know the thing, but Island Beat Radio, big up in the self study. All the listeners them were tuning into the radio station, the big up in the self, they don't know. I say things that they are Jamaica all the vibes and the action, you know? Ah, <laughs> uh, for real. So do you think you wanna give my massive a little a cappella of share your secrets for me before we wrap up? Alright, last but not least. <laughs> <laughs> Solution of a new track out in him can't explain. Me need enough to listen to that track, then I track that. You know what I mean? I track the order. But yeah, Island Beats, so we ask them, man. I don't know a solution we represent, man. Share your secret with me, girl. And me online. Girl, your secret safe with me. Please feel free to tell me. I wanna know you feel. Reason me, I can. I know there's going an extra 
smile just to see you smile. What I made no mistake, yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. I'll me, but I don't survive the solution. Read Ray, thank you, solution. Read, <laughs> you don't know you're welcome on Island Beats anytime. And I just want to say, um, happy holidays and all the best for um, your family, your career, and everything as we step into 2017. You don't know, solution. <laughs> you don't know, Island Beats, everybody. <laughs> you done no Rastafari. <laughs> Thank you. You see it. Bless up solution read. Bless.